our next topic is complementary shear stresses suppose we have a block like this and we apply a shear stress on this block shear stresses on this block on these planes so due to these shear stresses a couple will be produced you can see here this is in this direction this is in this direction there is a distance perpendicular distance between this so it will produce a couple and to make it in stati static equilibrium there must be complementary stresses developed in the material so that the material should be in static equilibrium and we are discussing about the static equilibrium to maintain the body in static equilibrium their stress developed a complementary stresses of same magnitude in opposite sense so that the body will remain in equilibrium right so if this is tau tau is the applied stresses applied shear stress and suppose suppose this is tau dash tau dash tau dash is the complementary shear stresses right and to maintain the body in static equilibrium this tau must be equal to tau dash this is the principle of complementary shear stresses right so it states that stress that to the applied shear stresses applied shear stresses on given planes there exist complementary stresses on perpendicular planes to maintain the body in static equilibrium static equilibrium the body will remain in static equilibrium if to the applied stresses they are they are, uh, are induced some complementary stresses of equal magnitude and then tau will be equal to tau dash right so how to prove this we want to prove the principle of complementary shear stress so let us try to prove it proof let us prove it say give it a number this is a this is b C and D and the thickness of this block inside the board is suppose unity right so inside the board it has dimensions of unity so I am writing here inside the board the thickness is thickness is suppose unity or 1 meter this is a three dimension block and it has unit dimensions inside it right so this is the applied shear stress tau and this tau and what is the force due to this uh, shear stress tau which is produced shear stress so what is this force actually force so p on bc p on bc so p on bc will be equal to shear stress tau multiplied by area area is bc multiplied by one unit dimensions so this is bc into one so this is tau into bc right and same shear stress is there on ad so same load will be developed in this material also so P this P is also equal to 
say P A D is equal to tau into A D into 1 that will be equal to tau A D. Due to these stresses or these forces, it will make a couple and this will try to rotate the body anti-clockwise direction, right? So you can think of that these forces are acting like this. This is P B C and this is P A D and these, these two forces are same. These forces are same, right? Because the stress is same. So that's why these forces are same. So I'm writing here that P B C will be equal to P A D. So P B C will be equal to P A D. And it will make a couple and this couple will try to rotate the body in anti-clockwise direction and the perpendicular distance is AB. This AB is the perpendicular distance. Say AB is the perpendicular distance, right? So what is the torque? What is the uh, moment of this two forces? So torque will be equal to tau into one of the uh, one of the uh, forces you can take any any one of the forces suppose bc tau into bc multiplied by the perpendicular distance perpendicular distance is ab ab right so this is the torque due to these things next next Suppose the shear stress developed is tau dash, tau dash and the force due to this tau dash is tau dash multiplied by AB. So force due to this is on AB and that is equal to tau dash multiplied by area. Area is AB multiplied 1. So this is equal to tau dash into AB. Right? And P on this phase CD yeah DC that is equal to tau dash multiplied by DC multiplied by 1 unit dimensions perpendicular to the board so that will be equal to tau dash multiplied by DC and what is the torque due to this so that will be equal to torque will be equal to tau dash multiplied by any one of the side because because p a b will be equal to p d c and p a b must be equal to p d c so we can write tau dash into d c suppose a b we have taken a b multiplied by the perpendicular distance. So you can assume that this is the case like this. This is perpendicular distance. Force is applied on this and force is applied on this. Right? So this is uh, the perpendicular distance is BC. This BC. BC and force applied is here. This is DC and this is AB and PAB will be equal to PDC. So this perpendicular distance, right? So AB multiplied by perpendicular distance BC. So these are the two torques due to this condition. And for static equilibrium, these two torques must be equal. For static equilibrium, equilibrium suppose this is torque 1 I am saying this is torque T1 and this is torque T2 this is torque and this is also torque T means here torque 
for static equilibrium t1 should be equal to t2 so we can write tau into bc into ab should be equal to tau dash into ab into bc and bc to bc cancel ab to ab cancel so we can write we can write that tau must be equal to tau dash the stresses should be equal so that the body must be in static equilibrium so this is the principle of complementary shear stresses that to the applied shear stresses at a given plane there must be uh, complementary shear stresses at the perpendicular planes so that the body may be in static equilibrium